Okay, I'm back again. First off, I had to uh, refresh that paint with the blue Sharpie. I mean the turquoise. So now it looks a lot better. Second, I did a lot more assembly and detail painting. You know, I'll show you what I did on the uh, bottom saucer here. So you have the silver I sprayed. That's around the neck. But I realized I can use my mixture to paint those little dots in the center of the trench. I can use a silver chrome pen to paint the uh, hatches because they don't show up in the decals. And I can use my antique gold to cover the phaser strips. Now you see how the windows are ice metallic blue. But you see how the different pearl colors barely show up on the chrome silver? Well, it's because it's silver. It's going to stay silver. All right, so that's that's that one. I did manage to get the gunmetal gray nacelle grill attachments attached to the bottom of the nacelles. Again, that's all I dare do. Uh, I finished the deflector dish. I put a silver chrome pan around its edge. If you're wondering why I'm using a lot of silver... It's because the Excelsior kit I have is a 2016. I'm building it as the NCC, which came out in 1991. So you do the math, and you end up with 25 years. Silver anniversary. So, hence the silver around the bridge. But because Star Trek is 50 years, and this is a 50th anniversary kit, there's the antique gold on the phaser mounts. Though I'm probably going to use Inca gold on the thrusters. But, and, and of course, because I love pearl, there's the pearl. The pearl shows up, alternating pearl. See, look, looks normal gray. But there's the pearl, and there's some silver also, silver chrome. A lot of it will be covered up with decals, but I'm not going to cover that up with a decal, I'll tell you that right now. And this blue, which I recently just refreshed, because I had to cover up for a painting mistake, it will be painted, um, covered up with a decal, but that'll make the one right near the bridge itself a slightly different color. We'll see what it turns out like. Oh, and another thing I did. I took a look at the sprue tree here. Yeah, sprue tree. So, for instance, I took a look at the Enterprise B instructions. This is the Enterprise B torpedo launcher. These are the Enterprise B tail fins, that's the Enterprise B deflector dish, that's the Enterprise B nacelle fin extender. And I might even save these two 11 pieces for the Enterprise B as well. And there was one other thing I did. Oh yes, yes, what I did also. I assembled the Excelsior rear torpedo launchers. Since it's all going to be the same gray, maybe a medium gray, haze gray doesn't matter that I assembled it. It's good. It's perfect. It's waiting for assembly. So, so you take away the sprue tree and you can see all the parts that are waiting for a painting. Well, the cargo bay, the torpedo bay, and the rest of the ship is waiting for the pearl white. Of course, now I'm going to have to um, mask off the neck, but that's okay. I can touch up the gray if necessary. And the neck is now solidly attached to the secondary hull. I managed to figure out which way the neck curved. And I did a test fit on the nacelles. You probably saw that earlier. And there's a... So, well, there's one more test fit I can do. Stand by. There you go. Probably not accurate. But there is a test fit of the... Uh, the cell pylon mount onto the secondary hull. Just a test fit. It's not nailed in place, not glued in place like the neck is. But that should that should work. You'll just have to nail it down or glue it in from underneath. Either way, it should work. And uh, I noticed that the Aztec decals that come for the Excelsior tail fins don't, on the side of the impulse, they don't go all the way out. But the Federation models one do. But what I will do, probably 
Tomorrow, most likely. I will try to assemble the saucer. No, I'm going to give the saucer its pearl coat first before I assemble it, but now I get to experiment with masking this, which I'll do, and I'll mask the top impulse engines, of course, to keep that blue. And I can I can repaint the phaser strip. That's no problem. This was just an experiment to see what it looked like painted as opposed to decal, but oh the decal color. I I, I prefer the decal color. Although, let's let's lay the decals next to it. Let's see. I bet when I do the top of the bridge and it has a chance to completely dry, I bet it'll be equal. I'm going to leave it just like that and we'll find out. Anyway, that's all for tonight. Talk to you all tomorrow.